you're gonna need a bigger boat. Hey guys, Sean here from the Everyday Aficionados, and today we're taking a look at Great Lakes Lake Erie Monster. This one is an Imperial IPA at 9.1% ABV and 80 IBUs, and this is a limited release from Great Lakes. I found this one at my local bottle shop, saw a giant stack of it, and I love Great Lakes Chill Wave, so I figured, hey, why not pick up a four-pack and see what I think of it. Let's go through the aroma, the taste, and then I'll give you my rating. This one definitely smells very malty. Really solid sweetness to it. Big, bready character. Definitely does not smell like your typical double IPA. A little bit of a tropical fruit character, some citrus notes. Slight resinous, sticky hop aroma. Even a bit of a spicy hop character. But again, very, very malt forward. Cheers. Wow. Very malt forward in the flavor as well. I shouldn't even really be surprised, but it was even more malty than I even expected it to be. It definitely does not have that huge punch of hops that a lot of double IPAs have. It's kind of muted. You do get some tropical character. I mean, the dominant flavor, I would say, is that tropical note from the hops, but it's very, very sweet, almost like overly ripe tropical fruits, almost to the point of being like cloying or slightly off-putting. Yeah, like really, really ripe mangoes, papayas, maybe even a bit of like pear, some pineapple. But very, very ripe, very sweet, really solid malt backbone, like I said, big bready sweetness to this beer, almost some toffee coming through. little hint of that spicy hop I was getting on the nose. Some of that resinous, sticky character towards the back end. Very slight citrus notes. A little bit more towards the back end. Some uh, orange or tangerine. Very light grapefruit pith. Not a whole lot of bitterness to this beer. Again, that sweetness really puts a damper on any bitterness that you'd otherwise be getting. And the finish on this one is kind of bittersweet with the linger some of those tropical fruits, a little bit of pithy citrus, and that really big, sweet, bready malt character. So for my final thoughts on Lake Erie Monster, this one is going to get a B from me. It's not a bad beer, but it's definitely not what I look for in my double IPAs. And really, it doesn't even drink like a double IPA. To me, this drinks more towards something like a barley wine. Again, it's very malty, very sweet. It does have some hop character, but it really gets overshadowed by those malts. So if you enjoy malty IPAs or barley wines, then you might like this one. But otherwise, I would say to steer clear from this one. I mean, I was definitely disappointed by it. I really love their chill wave. And to me, this is like completely out in left field compared to that. So if you go along with my taste, I would say to avoid this one. Have you guys tried this beer? What do you think of it? Do you enjoy multi IPAs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, drink responsibly and passionately. Thanks for watching. Eleven hundred men went into Lake Erie. Two hundred left. What happened to the others? Monster in the water. Monster get the others.